So, on the banks of the Tees, the Geordie and Chuck and Nations signed a treaty for the sale of the bridge. Trouble was, it wasn't ours to sell. Unless we could find a way to buy it off Granger. Barry had a visit from Caddy. Things might have got ugly if Joe hadn't showed up waving his Indian steak knife. We decided we had to tell Barry the truth about his marriage. We also levelled with Joe. He was great. Asked us to come to the States and put the bridge up for him. We wrapped up the site with a football game for the workforce. Naturally, it turned into a bloodbath. Happily, the final face-off with Tatiana and Caddy didn't. Then we were off into the Golden West. But Caddy hadn't finished with Put us. Put your hands your head! What is it? It's Caddy's revenge. Use a local pokey? No thanks. Take him straight to the federal facility in Flagstaff. I knew there was something about those guys. So what do you think, Barry? Can he stash the drugs in your bag before you left home? Nah, no. Nah, it was long gone before I left. Bet your life one of his Ivans did it on the plane. We're no strangers to shite, are we? I mean, the minute we take one step forward, something or someone knocks us two back. This is heavy, you know. All this. DEA, that's the Drug Enforcement Agency. Hardcore people. But it's bullshit. We've been set up like Barry said. Wyman's right. We're only working blokes. They'll see that. Oh. Better common sense or sort this out. Oh, that's what I thought when I got nicked. You were guilty, Oz. Aye, well, but still. Oz and me have both got previous. That's not gonna look good, is it? When they do a check on us all. Um, I was on probation when I was 15. Oh, no. Hey, what for? It's only joyriding. Oh. Bloody hell, that's all we need. Seven blokes, two rap sheets, a ram reader, and a bag of coke. We're stuffed. How could that happen? Okay, okay, listen to me. You need a good attorney. There's a firm in Phoenix. They represented the tribe on a lawsuit against the water company. Any of you guys make a call to Joe Saugus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was me. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, Barry Taylor. I think these are my associates. Uh, I don't need to know anyone's names. We got too many other things to talk about. I'm Gary Hathaway. Hello. Uh, I... Son of a bitch couldn't even give me a room with a table. Yeah, you can sit here. Thanks. Yeah. Did you guys make statements? Yeah. Oh, big mistake. Should they Mirandize you? What's that? Reading your rights. You're not CMYPD Blue. No, they didn't. Then your statements don't count unless you made some sort of spontaneous exclamation. What's that? A uh, sort of involuntary response at the moment of arrest. Oh, I made one of them. I just said, hell's bollocks, I'm going back to the jug and that's a pisser. Like... And you brought the drugs in on this Russian plane? No, no we I didn't. didn't. We didn't bring the drugs in. I was set up, and I bet you I cross bun to a pound of ripe bananas. It was a phone tip in a foreign accent, made just before that ruddy illusion took off again. Oh, are we talking the same language? You guys are all English, right? We are, man, what else? And you understand the term trafficking? Because that's what the feds are going to throw at you. Carries a mandatory sentence of 20 years. Oh. Sorry to put a crimp in your day. Is this your speciality? I had a habit in L.A. That's why I moved to Phoenix. Any chance of a cup of coffee in here? Oh, dear. me! sounds like you've had a half a dozen cups already to make it, huh? This is an act of personal retaliation against me by my ex-brother-in-law, 
It, it turns out he and my wife have been deluding me since I first met you in the Moscow food we're, fair. We're, we're getting oh, ahead of ourselves. We have a meeting with a federal judge at uh, 10 a.m. Don't you want to know whether we did it or not? What I need to know is how you intend to plead. Not, not guilty! guilty. Bail has said it. Two hundred thousand dollars. All right. What are we gonna do, Gary? It's all taken care of. That guy over there's a bail bondsman. He'll post a bond. Joe will co-sign it. Now I'm gonna need written statements from all you no, guys. No, you don't. That's down to me. The coke was in the box that I packed. It was in my possession. It was an act of revenge against me, not these fellas. Well, if that's the way you want to play it, there might be an angle in it. Well, not that it seems to count a monkey's fault, but just for the record, we are innocent. Yeah, I yeah. believe you. Thanks, Joe. Cheers, Thanks, Joe. Thanks for driving up from Phoenix. No problem. We'll be in touch. Listen, Joe, we'll settle up whatever you're out of pocket. I believe you. You jump bail. This guy comes after you. His name is Johnny Kickdoors Down. Hey, spot the grandson, Joe. <laughs> hey, Polly. Come and meet the guys. Hello, son. My name's Oz. You and me chatted on the internet. Yeah. Hey, hello, son. Great shirt, mate. Two army. See you later. Council's waiting for you. Uh, maybe we shouldn't mention we're all out on bail. Maybe you shouldn't. Hello. Hiya. Hello. 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 Guys, this is the tribal council. Hello. Hiya. Say something, Dennis. Um, my name's uh, Dennis Pat Patterson, and um, on, on behalf of all of us, um, I'd just like to say well, it's great to be here. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we, we did bring you some gifts, but they were impounded by the... Customs. The, customs. The, uh, we, the we, custom. We left some of right. our stuff at customs. The customs had it. Uh, well, you've traveled a long way, and we thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. i got to tell you, the council doesn't speak with one voice. A lot of us don't like the idea of this bridge. Well, we've come a hell of a long way to hear that, Chief. They're in the minority. We wouldn't have let you come this far if we weren't going ahead with this. Oh, good, good, right. Okay, thank you. So, is there any more questions? Well, only uh, accommodation. Uh, we staying in a motel or a condo? <laughs> what? Well, what are they love? I don't know. Well, <laughs> Get some rest, freshen up, and I'll check with you guys later. Thanks, Joeman. Oh, this brings back memories. Oh. What of? Your honeymoon? Ah, oh, Germany, man. Oh, here's in the air conditioner. I think this is it right here. No, oh, no, no, I'll kill that soon. Who wants where? Who cares? There's no inside toilet. There's a couple of mobile cars, he's out the back. Mine never will be nice and right when the temperature hits 100. Oh, lovely. I'm not going to use those in the middle of the night. Get a rattler up, me jacks, eh? Oh, 
Where'd you get this bone shaker? Joe took us at the town. What's it like? Oh, hey. Bit of a heck of a place, like. Couple of bars, twice as many gun stores, a picture house, not showing films, mind. It was just poster outside saying, The land that time forgot. Right. Groceries, kitchenware, cleaning stuff. Eh, uh, have we not forgotten something? Come on. Well, I should see we're through the weekend. You dumb bollocks, Oz! <laughs> Maybe you learn yourself something about melody and such like. Go on, press play. Turn it down a bit. Now, was that not better? It might be. That's never yours, is it? Eh, uh, no, no. No, it's my sister's kids. Yeah. She and Gooey are the only family I've got. Who's Gooey? The lad. <laughs> Funny nickname. It's not a nickname. That's what he's called. Well, that's his real name, Gooey. Yeah. How come she picked that? Well, she bought this book, The Enlightened Guide to Naming Your Baby. And she picked Gooey? Yeah. How do you spell it? G U Y. They maybe get a bit of a carpet full of floor, eh? Yeah. Bunch of dyes and of ours might call the difference. Oh, a man, it's early days. Tatiana and me used to go out every Saturday night. She'd look ravishing. She made me wear a black polo net sweater and a black suit. Yeah, very Piers Brosnan, she thought. <laughs> oh, I. Go yeah, to country house restaurant. Maitre did always take very special care of us. Frame our table, good wine, fine brandy. Be back home at 11. Watch your DVD on my flat screen TV. <laughs> well, you've got all that to go back to, buddy. Mine is her, of course. Well, at least you've tasted the prizes of life, not like the rest of us. Yeah, I mean, I was driving a minicab, Moxie was a kitchen cleaner, and ours was in the nick. Yes, I'll probably be there myself soon enough. <sighs> Who knows? Perhaps in the grand scheme of things, it's just God's way of, of levelling the playing fields. Hey, buddy, you know what? If this was Big Brother, you'd be the first one out that door. I should be so lucky. Eh? What in shit's name is that? Coyotes. Must have made a kill. At least we never had coyotes in Dusseldorf. What's going on, John? The medicine man has to bless the ground, bless our whole enterprise. Our guys won't start work until he does. Really?
thank you. Jesus, the little witch doctor. I wonder what he keeps in his bag. Probably a sack of lethal weed. He looks half stunned to me, the old bugger. We do everything in a circle because we believe the power of the world works in circles. Your lads are strong and keen, Joe, but pretty soon we're gonna need more experience, you know. Especially when we get up top. Huh? Aye. Aye. We're gonna need high wire guys with mm. nerves of steel. Mm -hmm. We've got a problem there. What's that? The Tribal Council insists we use Native Americans. Well, aren't Indians famous for that? Didn't they build Manhattan? Yeah, yeah and some Chaconas are working right now in Vegas. Their team leader is my son, and we don't see eye to eye. Ah, tricky. Have you talked to him? He doesn't want to know. Oh, dear. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, yeah, I think I've got a bit of heat exhaustion. Oh, this isn't me, you know. I'm not suited to this, Dennis. Running around the building, sweating a hard hat. Well, don't worry about it. There's plenty of paperwork to do, cost, supplies. I'll keep you busy. I was running my own empire. I've got to get back there. I'll price the guys a pot. Well, you can't go anywhere, so stop bleating. singing about great deeds old warriors we have a song for everything because everything uh, tradition history ideas is preserved in song so maybe one day they'll be singing about the mad geordie bridge builders <laughs> who are the geordies uh, they're an english tribe live in the far north very strange people watch it here you are. come with me and i'll show you what the war dances Oh yeah, don't be afraid. Gotta be dance, man. Right. You put your left foot in, your left foot out. In, out, in, out. Shake it all about and then you do the hokey cokey. You turn around. That's what it's all about. Oi! Oh, man. Did you find out this is a traditional dance probably passed down over the centuries? I saw the hokey cokey. You gotta use the date.
Mrs. Platt? Yeah. Mother of Teddy Platt? Yeah. I'm afraid we have some bad news for you. I'll call you back. Morning, Mickey. I'm not talking to you. You want to talk to me, talk to my lawyer. £50,000 bail. That's a friggin' disgrace. It's not about your pull, Mickey. It's about Teddy Platt. Teddy who? Platt. His body was fished out the tees, and his mum says he was working for you. He was looking for a bloke that robbed me. No crime in that. Well, maybe this bloke saw him coming. Who was he? Name of Moxie. And he was working for those people that pulled that bridge down in Middlesbrough. First name? Never had one. Just Moxie. Like Moby or Mantovani. I like your hat, Barry. Oh, oh. I think it looked better than Garth Brooks. Yeah, I've got to keep the sun off my face somehow. I don't know why you haven't left a trailer since you got here. Hey, <laughs> I'll do me share. Where are you, you bugger? He looks like Deputy Doug. Ah, oh, nuts to the lot of you. Oh, you better be it. You know any better? Well, not so bad. going on, Bomb? I mean, I know you keep saying you're just having the odd off day. Feeling a bit iffy, but... Is it more than that? If you don't mind us asking. My liver's all shot. Funnily enough, it ain't the booze, though I did bombard it a bit over the earth. It's hepatitis C. Hepatitis? Oh, I'm sorry, Bob. Do you really think this is the best place for you to be? Well, I think it is. There's something about this place. Something spiritual. I know it sounds daft coming from an old bruiser like myself, but well, somehow it feels connected. With the earth, I suppose. Laney gave me this. This it's an Indian poem about nature. The great sea has sent me adrift. Moves me as the weed in a great river. The earth and the great weather move me. Have carried me away. And move my inward parts with joy. Oh, that's great. I better not tell the others. No, sure. I don't mean about being sick. I mean about reading you poetry. Yeah, me, buddy, how depressed are you? How do you mean? Well, all this sugar and shit, man, it's a classic symptom. Well, I didn't have any supper, did I? Eh, uh, you were up in the middle of the night, weren't you? Scopping a tub of Ben and Jerry's double fudge ripple, eh? Hi, Joe, any news? What's up? I talked to my son again. In Vegas? No. Locally. He's here for a couple of days, but he won't set foot on tribal lands. Chip hates this place. Or maybe it's me. Well, if he won't help us with the steelwork, well, bollocks. That's right. I'll go back to the council. Maybe they'll bend the rule about tribals. Yeah, okay. Call for you, Barry. That lawyer bloke in Phoenix. Oh, bloody hell. Barry, hi. Gary Hathaway. Listen, I just wanted to update you and recap a couple of things. So you found out your wife and brother-in-law were involved in criminal activity. You shit-canned the pair of them, and they set you up on this phony narcotics deal, right? If we focus in on that, I think there's a good chance the U.S. attorney will drop charges against the other guys. Now, I'm having lunch with her on Friday. She's an old sparring partner, but uh, she's going to want something, so we're not out of the woods yet. Where am I? 
Oh, listen, uh, I got the uh, testimony back from the UK. It's all good. Uh, local cops confirmed this guy, Cod, he's a piece of work. And spoke very highly of you, uh, Inspector Colin Bishop. Colin, yeah? Yeah, says... No way you're a bad guy, you're just a radish. Who got rich. I'm not familiar with the expression. I've heard it before. Barry, you know I'm going to bat for you. We'll speak Friday. Uh... What is it? Yeah, what? I don't believe it. <laughs> Colin Bishop. I've known him for years. We play golf together. He's had dinner in my house on more than one occasion. And he calls me a radish. Oh, Barry, man. We're not bothered about that, man. Barry, man, what about the charges? What? What about the charges, man? Oh, you'll probably be free and clear. I'm the one who's going to fall on his sword. Ever since your funeral, my life's been unravelling like a, a ball of knitting wool. I had everything, didn't I? Money, respect, position, living in luxury. Now ah, look at me! Living in the middle of cactus land, surrounded by coyotes and rattlesnakes. The one highlight of the week is a bucket of cold snow and something unspeakable from smoking Joe's barbecue roadkill. Oh, I suppose I'll be standing in prison, won't I? Go! Barry! Barry! Barry, alright? Having some sort of breakdown. Leave him, leave him still. Oh. Maybe the medicine man's got some volume in his bag of tricks. Hey, it's not funny, Moxie, man. He nearly oh. did a Thelma and Luigi into the gorge there, man. I wasn't being funny. I mean, maybe he's got some sort of herbal remedy, you know, handed down by the ancients over the centuries. Come on, Barry, Orich. Is it likely that Indian warriors had nervous breakdowns? Well, they had their problems, haven't they? I mean, no fish in a river, harsh winters, white men breaking treaties. Moxie, well, shut up. Aye. Barry, what are you playing up on your lunatic? What have I got to live for? Tribal lands are filled with ghosts of the past. Young people just want to leave. Me and the lads are used to that. Working overseas to earn a crust. That's why we're here. Do you have a family, Bomber? My wife died three years ago. Oh, I'm sorry. We've got four children, three grandkids. Yourself, I know you got the boy. Yeah. Haven't seen his father for years. He's not missed. I was pretty pissed, though, when we broke up. With him and with the world. Coming back here was part of getting over that. Uh-huh. That's our medicine man. How old is he? Well, he says he's 110, but I don't know. People lie all the time about their age. <laughs> that's his great granddaughter. She's eight months pregnant. She just hates doctors, so that's why I'm here. So I won't be too long. So, how you doing? I'm good. I come from distant land, far away, over great ocean, fly through the sky in big plane. Boeing 747?
Oh, there you are. What do you want? What are you doing? I'm just trying to be alone. I'm trying to get in contact with my spiritual core. Oh? It's just we need a fourth for Solo. All right. It's Saturday night and we're going out for some well-deserved R&R. Now you've been moped around this hut all bloody week. So get yourself shaved, chuck your best strides on, but leave that bloody hat indoors, eh? Because hopefully we'll be talking to a woman. What are you saying? I look a radish in it. No, no, no. A pillock. Where is his borrowed? It's about ten miles outside the res. Now, isn't that infinitely better than all that dirt chicka dirt shite you're normally listening to? Yeah, I gotta admit, it's growing on me. That's because it's timeless, kid. They'll not be playing Atomic Kitten in 20 years' time. No! Oh! Yeah, that looks great. Oh, hey, howdy. Good day, how are you? Oh, hey, this is the bollocks, yeah? Yeah? Stetsons and sawdust, beer and burgers, the clatter of the pool balls. And the sound of country music on the jukebox. Oh, the American West. Right, right show, look at the men. What do you want, lads? Where are you guys from? England. But you don't get many Brits in here. Hun, we get bikers, spikers, dopers, ropers, speedheads, cowboys, and grease balls. <laughs> Welcome to the Windy Mesa, boys. What'll it be? What do you pick up the All right, Barry. Oh, yes. <laughs> the Cuervo Gold, the fine Colombian. Make the night a wonderful thing. <laughs> Steely Dan. Oh, I love Steely Dan. <laughs> you like the ladies, don't you, Niv? No more than most. Oh, I think you do. There's nothing wrong with that. The trouble is, as you get older, you become horribly aware of all the young flesh that'll never be yours. <laughs> I mean, when you're young, anything's possible. Anything. But when you get to our age, you know you're never going to bonk Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Holly Berry, far the choice. You don't. He's an amazing old guy that medicine man. He's over a hundred years old. Must eat a lot of yogurt. <laughs> he lived a whole century through two world wars. Does he stick pins into wax dolls and give you a med aid? Yeah, that's voodoo, your hair brain. Oh, yeah. Lady says he's got mystical powers. He can shape shift. Shape shift? That's what the Indians call it. What does that entail? Uh, changing shapes from one thing to another, like. Um, a deer into a dog or a dog into an eagle. Could he change me into Johnny Depp? <laughs> Maybe push it a bit, Moxie. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I'll play for a bottle of beer, kid. That's our table. I'm sorry? That's our table. Hey. It's their table. Hey, it's our bar, Chief. What, you own it, do you? Oh, it's not worth it, mate. Oh, we look at this. We got brothers here. Got feather heads over here. Where you funny talking pig farts from? Pig farts? And this from a bloke with more oil on his seed than a double deck our bus. If there's a problem over there, take it outside. Oh shit, what's us done now? Oz has done nothing now. What's your matter? How what's your problem? It's not my fault. This greaseball here obviously fancies his chances. Now, I'm quite happy to go outside with him, give him a kick in the bollocks, but it's not my fault. Oz, what? You've already been to jail for it in a bloke. You don't want to risk that again over these two skunks. Remember when we're all out on bail? Travis, if you don't want to have a good time like everybody else, you get your redneck ass out of my bar now! Thank you. Another time, pig fart. <sighs> Promise? Oh, yeah. Come on, man. 
Cheers, Collie. Look, give him fret, pet. You know, I want to take to cause any aggro, you know. It's too kind of a place, man. Didn't understand a word, hun, but next beer's on me. Oh, thanks, pet. Except for all of us. Yeah. Free beer. Morning, Jeffrey. Morning, sir. I had a call last night. Teesside police are looking for you. Well, I hope you tell them I never touched the woman. It's a pack of lies. <laughs> it's about that body that was washed up. I want the whereabouts of Oz and his bridge north chums. They're in America. Oh? Putting the bridge up in Arizona. Who told you that? That piss artist Irishman, Calhoun. They paid him to draw up the erection schedule. He was fishing for more money by telling me. It's a bit sneaky of Oz, pulling a flanker like that. I agreed a rock-bottom price because I was told the bridge was going to scrap. It's water under the bridge now, I suppose. Sarah. Sorry about that. Well, not necessarily. The legal eagles might argue change of circumstance, failure to disclose. So what will you do? Well, knowing those seven hapless loons, they'll find a way to cock it up. <laughs> and if they don't, I have a couple of cards up my sleeve. Oh, good. The book's selling quite nicely in Portuguese. <laughs> We've already bent the rules. We have seven outsiders working here already. If it wasn't for them, there wouldn't be a bridge. There wouldn't be any work for a young man. Excuse me, if your son won't do it, surely there's other crews up in Las Vegas that will. Navajos, not our people. Oh, I see. Now you've moved the goalposts. Now it's not just Native Americans we're looking for. It's got to be Choconos. One of the smallest tribes in the Southwest, man. Don't you talk to me like that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's got a point, Charlie. We need to look elsewhere. Our own people refuse to work on a bridge. Hey, B, that's a way it's meant to be. Look, I'm sorry about losing there, you know, but I mean, this is a big problem. I mean, without steel men, we're buggered. Charlie Fox has been looking for an excuse to deep six this project right from the get-go. But isn't Chip your brother, Lady? Can you not reason with him? Oh, he's my half-brother, for all that implies. <sighs> well, let us talk to him, you know what I mean, the lads? That might make a difference, you know? I mean, we're not family, you see? I mean, we're working men the same as he is. We've come a long way to build this bridge. You know, Chip's beef has always been with you, Dad. I think it's worth a shot. Yeah. Right. Who is it? What do you want? Ned? Oh, Brenda. You're uptight? No, no, I'm, I'm not uptight. I just wasn't expecting you to call. Must be the middle of the night. Oh, Callista's got a cold. I've just got her settled. What are you doing? Nothing. Well, I'm, I'm sort of meditating. Seriously? Aye, I am. I'm sitting on a rock watching the sun going down. That's good. I've always tried to get you to be a bit more spiritual. Well, it's easy, I hear. When you surround her with a vista of timeless beauty, you can clear your mind of the commonplace and mundane. Didn't you castle win? I've no idea. Oh, Brenda, man, go and get the newspaper. I mean, bed. Well... What did you call us for, man? I'm meditating. I just thought you'd like to know the police called round today. Huh? Right, what you got? 17. 18. Ah, that's enough, son. You'll make me feel bad if I win any more of you. I want to play on. Look, you dropped a bundle at the casino the other night, didn't you? Eh? Listen, we're all working my bollocks off here. It would be stupid for you to go home with nothing to show for it. Who are you kidding us? We're never going to finish this job without the steel erectors. That's what we're going to Vegas for, isn't it, you daft little bollock? Listen to me, man. I'm older than you. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you did a good enough job with your own son, didn't you? You deserve a slap for that remark. Hey! We just spoken to Brenda. We've had the cops round looking for you, Mox. Bloody hell. What for? They found a body in the tees. A bloke called Edward Arthur Platt. Lived with his mum outside Liverpool. That's a bloke came looking for you, wasn't it? 
I don't know, he never formally introduced himself. Well, it has to be him, man. He worked for your ex-boss. Irina recognised him. Well, I didn't bloody top him. Well, you found me, didn't you? Sprawled in the car park, covered in blood. Well, I wasn't there, but I know how the police think, and you've got a record, Moxie. You all think I'm a murderer? Oh, Oz doesn't mean that. He's just plain devil's advocate. I've never hurt anyone in my life. I've just set fire to buildings, and I've always made sure they were empty. Except that once. And I didn't know the bloke had chickens. This is wonderful. Now we've got the police of two continents hunting us down. It's only a matter of time before Interpol and the mount is moving. Scabby horse. I'll pull in. I can do with a big barbecue. Ah, bait it. Chop it. Chicken ranch. Hello there. Welcome. Hello. <laughs> hey. I don't think you're gonna get a grilled chicken sorry in here, Nev. What is this place? It's a house of ill repute, Nev. No, no, not in Nevada, man. It's all legal and above board here. Well, hey, gentlemen. Welcome to the chicken ranch. Now, I'm Fran, your genial hostess. I want you to uh, take your time and meet the girls and the first drinks on the house. Oh, oh. champion, hey. <laughs> lovely outfit. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Hoplon Cassidy must have called him for a shot of her. <laughs> Shall we go? I saw a McDonald's down the road. Well, hang on a minute. I mean, now that we're here, you know, we can still be in Vegas for lunchtime to meet Chip and his buddies. Are you not serious? Well, I am is. And there's some very tidy tackle on that's a tea. Oh, fancy that nurse's one, me, eh? Yeah? You and all. Well, why not, man? We'll work with nuts up for three months. Anyway, it's a tourist attraction in the state. Ah, that's right. People come here for a flutter, then a show, then a shag. I mean, if you went to Venice, you'd ride a gondola, wouldn't you? it would do you the world of good, Nev. State you've been in recently? Oh, do you know what state I've been in? Because you told me. Oh, I didn't tell Dennis. I know, man. Eh? What well, I'll know. Oh, great. Can't anybody have any secrets anymore? Not know that we're all living back in a hut. Look, Nev, man, you need this. Eh? Oh. And it's not like cheating, you know. It's just sex with a stranger. How are you? Hi, I'm Dennis. Hi. Oh, hello. Hi. 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 I'm Kellyanne. Hi. Do you want to be with me? No, thanks. I was just good. <gasps> I think you do. Oh, yeah. I think you do. Who were all the postcards from? Satisfied customers. I saved them. You can send me one if you want. <laughs> Who's the little girl? That, that's my daughter. <laughs> She's in first grade. She lives in Barstow with my mom. These are my girls. Yeah, that's Debbie. Fiona and the, the baby's Callista. Oh, she is so cute. Nice looking family. Ah, I'm very
very fortunate. You'd be amazed how many guys forget to do that. So, you're married, eh? Uh-uh. I've been married 20 years. So are you on vacation with your buddies? No, work. We're building this bridge for the Indians, the Native Americans. Yeah, it's an amazing story, actually. Honey... We're up in Middlesbrough. You can burn a hundred bucks by telling me all this, or you can get laid. It's up to you. <laughs> Welcome back, Marathon Man. <laughs> How do you get your skates on? We've settled your bill, mate. Not doing the trick now, eh? Aye, great. <laughs> great! Come on, thanks. Hey, guys, Chip says to come on up. What do you mean, come on up? Can't he come down? We're going to take him for a bite. Ah, the hard rock's just doing the street. Ah, he already started his lunch. Oh. Don't stand hate me. Fantastic view, man. For me, it's not. I like to live for four walls, you know, my favorite views are real buttons. Friends of my father? Yeah. All right, all right. Who speaks for you? Uh. You reckon that'd be me? Why don't you come out here? Have a cup of coffee. <laughs> Is there any chance you could come over to roast Chip? You have something you want from Chip, you go to him. Oh, I can't, man. I can't, I can't do it, man. No matter what you'd stake, I can't get over there. He doesn't drink coffee, Chip. It makes him all there uh, nervy, you know. I'll have one with you. seen you before. Oh, you were in the bar that night. We had to run in with the rednecks, weren't you? Yeah, I like the way you guys handled yourselves. Oh. What's your name? Oz. Oh, uh, 
she is. So my father sent you? No, no. This was our idea. Because you see, we can't build that bridge without you and your crew. You know, I hate the reservation. Nothing there for a man to go back to. Some people have to stay there though, don't they? They don't all have a choice like you did. But this bridge could change that. Could change their lives for the better. Could change your lives too. You and your buddies stand to make a lot of money off of this deal. Well, it's possible to make a book and still do something decent. What's going on? Still talking. You see, me and my mates come from a place where people have lost their jobs, lost their security, lost their self-respect. And since we've been here, we've seen your people going through that same shit. Maybe that's why we all get on. It's why we want to help. Were Tyrez before? <laughs> me? Pretty gutsy, you coming out here. Well, I've still got to get back yet. I'm not going without an answer. All right, you got a deal. Cheers. Want a tuna sandwich? Eh, uh, no, no thanks. It's an awful long way down to spew it up. I just, uh... Hello? Dan! Yeah? Yeah? What? Yeah, yeah? Oh, congrats, lads! You having a night in Vegas to celebrate? No, no, we're not, buddy. We're thinking about it, but the only show we got tickets for was Engelbert Humperdinck. Well, have a safe drive, then. Turn off for a bit. What? They've pulled it off. Oh, fantastic. Chipping his crew will be with us as soon as they've topped off in Vegas. How'd they manage it? Well, all I know is Teddy says it was Aussie's finest hour. <laughs> Great news, Bon. We've got our Steelers. Oh, tremendous. <laughs> hey, has anyone heard from Wayman? He's been gone for hours. No? No. Can you pull over? Oh, ho, ho. you fancy a quickie, Dev? No, I just realised I left me mobile in that lass's room. Shit. Dear me, you don't want your Brenda ringing her up, do you? Ooh. I could get another chicken sandwich. <laughs> hey, I think you deserve it, pal. Tell you what, you can have this one on me and the lads. Ooh, thank you. Here. Hello? Oh, hi, bum. Oh, we'll be back in under two hours. Eh, uh, two and a half. Two and a half. What? Oh, I hope he's all right. What? Aye. Ta-ra, Bum. What? The young one's gone missing. Why, man? What do you mean, missing? Well, he went into town. Hasn't been seen since. Maybe he's in there. A dirty little beast. No, he's been gone for hours. Bum, I sounded really worried. That's Neville's phone. Sure. He didn't forget it. Oh. He's in love with a tot. I'll gank him. You made up and drag him off. He's not in here.
him where the hell is he? Well, have you just been sat there stuffing your face? Just a little snack. I'm uh, Andy Haley, Detective Inspector, Cleveland Regional Crime Squad. Couldn't you arrest me? I am, after all, the hand that rocks the cradle. <laughs> Ever taken drugs, Mr. No. You don't have any principles, Jeffrey. You're a conceited, narcissistic phony and a total shit. I'm going to fire you for that remark. 6,000 square miles of rock and bloody cactus. A bloke could very easily disappear in that life. How's it? Surprisingly mellow. The baby's coming! Oh, you again? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>